Keep it simple phone tech here with an installment in the how to series and this time we are going to talk about how to back up your information to iCloud. Now Apple they do such an awesome job of helping you to back up your information and iCloud is the easiest way to do this. There is an alternative way you can do it also through iTunes so we'll probably have that video up in the how-to series here shortly but in the meantime let's show you how to do this through iCloud so from your home screen you want to find your settings icon and tap on settings now to back up to iCloud you cannot do it from your cell phone providers internet service so if you have LTE which is 4G or if you have 3G you can't do it that way so you have to be connected to a Wi-Fi connection if there is a catch to this you have to be connected to Wi-Fi so we're gonna to connect to Wi-Fi we'll go ahead and press on Wi-Fi we will turn on Wi-Fi we'll see I'm already connected to my home network but if I was not connected to the network down here will be a list of options. It's not really popping up here right now, but you would have a list of options that you can choose from. You would just select the network that you want to connect to. If it does not have this little lock symbol, then it's an open network, so you'll be connected once you select it. If it does have the lock symbol, you're going to need a password. Just keep that in mind. I also talk about this in the basic series as well. So after that, we're going to press on settings because we need to go back one step once we've confirmed we have Wi-Fi on and we're connected. And this is just showing here that we are connected to this network. Next, we'll scroll down. And we're going to go to iCloud and select that. All right, so to be able to pull this off, you're going to need an Apple ID. So if you already have an Apple ID on your phone, it's going to be on the top of the screen under the iCloud heading. All right, we're going to continue presuming that you already have an Apple ID. So from here, we're going to scroll down until we find backup. As we scroll down, we're going to see some things say on and we're going to see some switches they're turned on so that green means it's turned on when we swipe it that means it's turned off when it's gray so let's keep that turned on and everything that either says on or is in green means that's what's going to be backed up for you so you'll see I have keychain off because I selected off when I originally set this phone up. So from here, we are going to press on backup. Of course, iCloud backup is turned on, but we want to manually backup, so we're going to select backup now. So just tap that, and then you're just waiting. Now you can continue doing things with your phone, just make sure you don't get out of Wi-Fi range as it's backing things up and keep Wi-Fi turned on. Depending on what all that you have on your phone, I mean, I don't really have anything on this phone right now, so it may just take a few minutes, but it may take 20, 30 minutes, maybe more, depending on how much content you have on your phone. So just be prepared for that. But once it is done, you'll see this, last backup and the time it took place, or the date it took place if you get a few days out from it. And that's it. It's that simple to back up to iCloud. So definitely take advantage of this because if you ever run into problems with your iPhone or where you have to reset the phone or if you get locked out of your phone and you have to reset the phone, you can be assured that you will have your information backed up. So you don't have to worry about losing any of your important pictures, contacts, etc. Again, keep in mind that you can do that anytime that you want to. You can go to backup now and then just have your phone backed up. So if you make any changes and you want to just go ahead and back it up right away, you're close to a Wi-Fi connection, you can go ahead and select that option. Again, just be prepared to uh, 
take the time for it to do all the backing up for you. So you want to stay around that Wi-Fi connection and not drift off too far because once you do, it just won't back up for you. It'll cancel the backup eventually. And also, you'll occasionally get prompts telling you if it's been some time since the last time you've done an iCloud backup, you'll get a pop-up on your screen from time to time telling you, hey, it's been a week, two weeks, that sort of thing, that since the last time you've done an iCloud backup. And you usually get that prompt if you haven't been connected to a Wi-Fi connection for too long. So if you ever see that, that's what that's talking about. So that's just another opportunity for you to do a backup if you're close to a Wi-Fi connection. A reminder for you. Once again, I hope this video was helpful to you. Again, it's very simple to back your phone up, so please do take advantage of this so you don't lose anything important. Um, and again, there is an alternative. There is iTunes. There's a few more steps involved with backing up to iTunes because you actually have to connect your phone to a PC or laptop or a Macintosh to complete the process. And you have to have the iTunes program installed on that computer as well. So still simple, just a few more steps involved. But with that said, definitely back up your phone. Apple makes it simple. You don't have to worry about losing anything important. Thanks for watching. This is Keep It Simple Phone Tech.